Hello and welcome to Arsenal Online. Here you'll find the latest stories and news about Arsenal. Welcome back fellow Gunners across the world. Arsenal vs Crystal Palace predicted lineup. Arsenal make a quick trip across London tonight as they take on Crystal Palace in the Premier League. After what seems an interminably long international break, Arsenal are back in action on Monday evening as they take on Crystal Palace. Just 10 matches stand between them and a 4th place finish in the Premier League. The wait is almost over and although Arsenal are in 5th place currently due to Tottenham's demolition of Newcastle at the weekend, they still have the odds in their favour. But let's not jump ahead. Crystal Palace is the next challenge for Arteta's boys and it won't be a walk in the Selhurst Park. Mikel Arteta saw three of his international stars stay at home over the break when they should have been involved with their countries. Aaron Ramsdale, Takahiro Tomiyasu and Bukayo Saka were all ruled out of international action. Saka has now returned to training after recovering from Covid and should be involved on Monday evening. However, it's still not clear about whether Ramsdale and Tomiyasu will play a part. It's unlikely that Ramsdale will be in the squad due to his hip problem. He hasn't been seen in full training yet and the concern is that rushing him back could prompt an aggravation of the issue and we certainly don't want him out for the final run-in. That's also the situation with Tomiyasu. He has been training with the team as he works towards making his first appearance since January. We think he could be named as a substitute and maybe brought on to test himself. So let's take a look at who we think will be starting for Arsenal as they take on Crystal Palace. Arsenal vs Crystal Palace predicted lineup. Goalkeeper and defenders. Burned Lino in net. There's just no reason to rush Ramsdale back in too quickly. Lino will get the job done and it's actually good to see him have a swan song at Arsenal. Cedric Suarez, right back. Same situation here. While Tomiyasu could well make the squad, don't risk him unnecessarily. Cedric Suarez, well he's done okay. Just let him carry on until Tomiyasu is fully fit. Benjamin White, centre-back. Of course he's playing. He's phenomenally reliable and is the most used player this season. He's just had a busy international time where injury to John Stones meant White played more minutes than originally planned for England. But he's a machine. He'll play. Gabriel, centre-back. Well, Gabriel didn't play for Brazil over the break, but that's not to say he isn't tired. He's just welcomed a baby into the world, but he'll be back to work with renewed purpose. Kieran Tierney left back. Well, there was no rest time at all for Tierney. He played the full 90 minutes of both Scotland's friendlies, grabbing himself a first international goal and an, ass and an assist. He's just unstoppable though and he will be starting. Midfielders Martin Odegaard, well he was at his dazzling best for Norway in their wins over Slovakia and Armenia. He netted himself a fine goal and he pulled all the strings as his side battered Armenia 9-0. He's simply phenomenal. Thomas Partey. Partey's long-range goal was the deciding strike for Ghana, which saw his country qualify for the World Cup. Let's hope he can re replicate that form for Arsenal too. Granit Xhaka, he just needs to keep playing at the level he is and doing the job he has to do, which is to help the team win. 
for forwards, Bukayo Saka on right wing. Well, he tested positive for COVID, so he missed out on England action, but he has had plenty of time to recover, so he will start for Arsenal. Alexandra Lacazette will be in the centre. He snatched the point for Arsenal in their last meeting with Palace, so it would be nice to see him score again. And on left wing, we're going for Emile Smith-Rowe. The debate over who should get the nod between Martinelli and Smith-Rowe is such an interesting position to be in, with both players adding layers to their games and improving every week. But we think tonight Smith-Rowe may just edge it over his teammate. And the score... Well, it's not going to be easy. No match is. But Arsenal are fighting for those three points to keep up the pressure on fourth place, especially after Spurs' demolition of Newcastle. They are away, but we are going to predict confidently a 2-0 win for the Gunners. Thank you for watching Arsenal Online. Please subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest Gunners news.